Yes, I'll start with you because obviously you've been in that position as the reporter. What's your reaction to that whole situation and how it was handled on both I thought, sides? I thought the reporter could have handled it could have handled it better. Um, you know, you're there to ask questions and to get answers, as opposed to confronting a coach or what have you. Now, sometimes coaches deserve to be confronted. What I mean by that is if you're asking questions and that's what you're doing and you're giving a coach an opportunity to answer those questions, that's fine. But when you come at him like, you know, like your answers are unacceptable, well, who are you to say that? Well, you give us these answers every week. Well, that's what he chooses to do. You know, now granted, they're one eight and one. They're not the most impressive team in the world. You had an abundance of people who didn't believe that Lovey Smith deserved the job, and he's probably one of those people, which is his right to feel yeah. as a reporter. But you're there to ask the question and to receive an answer, as opposed to engaging in a confrontation yeah. with the coach. And a lot of times, I see stuff like that, and I ask myself, okay, and I don't know the answer to this question. Did you do that to Bill O'Brien when he was there? Uh, did you do that to, to, to other coaches when they were there? Would you have done that to another coach with a similar record if they were not Lovey Smith, who's, by and large, everybody that knows him considers him the ultimate gentleman? Right. He doesn't get in the stuff with anybody. So I don't know. I'm not there, and I'm not going to condemn either side, but based on the footage we saw, I would say that the, the reporter was a bit uh, cantankerous unnecessarily. And, and the difference between what we do, you know, as an analyst, I get my emotions involved. As a reporter, you don't supposed to allow your emotions to get involved. And that's the issue, that he's allowing his emotions to, to, to go at Coach in that fashion. I would like to see Coach take a little bit more control and just say, hey, I'm not answering that. Or, or, or you know, when you come back and say, you say that every week. Yes, and every week we are going to we'll, we'll continue to try, you know, and continue to work hard. But, for, but, but, but a reporter asking Coach as if, that he was going to take the Texans to a Super Bowl or somewhere this year. I think that has to play into this also. Yeah. One quick comment. So it's a rebuild. Right, one right, quick, right. One yeah. quick comment. I will tell you this. Yep. There is a difference between a reporter and a columnist. Right. A columnist okay. is there to editorialize, opine, yeah. and give their opinion. Right. I don't know who that person right. was. Okay. I don't know whether they were a columnist and thanks, or man. a reporter. Absolutely. That is a difference. And, and, and just to explain, because I was asking Stephen A. all of this stuff before we came on, just wanted to get it from a, from a reporter, journalist standpoint before we talked about it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We got Niners at Cards it. tonight. That one is not at Cards. It's in Mexico City, which is supposed I'm to be. I'm rolling right, with the 49 right, 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 Tremendous right, yeah. to visit, by the way. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.